It's all about how important this city has been to me as I've grown up. I also thought I was super clever with some of the rhymes, like, the queen's escape is providence, take Sharon's way, it all makes sense. Yeah. It's deep stuff for a 15-year-old. But I really do think music is the most fitting way for me to pay tribute to Charlotte, because when I look back at the last 18 years of my life, it really has been outlined by the songs I've listened to, the music I've sung, and the pieces I've written. All the way back to infancy, music has been a part of my life. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine. 
don't take my sunshine away. This was a lullaby that was sung to me every night before I went to bed. You are my sunshine. Simple tune with a simple melody and a hint of cliche. I think when you look at the songs I've written, they follow that same formula. Simple and cliche. I didn't grow up listening to the classic rock like some of my friends. I didn't even know who the Beatles were until like third grade. In fact, I didn't start liking music until middle school. I was in fifth grade, and my mom forced me to audition for the musical Honk. Now something you should know about my mom, she forced me to do a ton of activities as a kid. I played baseball, basketball, tennis, golf, soccer, hockey, lacrosse, swimming, diving, karate, gymnastics. I was even on a chess club. I guess her reasoning was if she kept on making me try new things, eventually we would find one that I was good at. <laughs> and it may have worked, but it was a very long and painful process. I never scored a basket in basketball. They put me at goalie in soccer because I didn't have enough hand-eye coordination to kick a ball. <laughs> I still can't get the ball to go the way I want to in golf, and I am terrible at chess. In hindsight, though, my mom's persistence in making me try new things is the whole reason I am who I am today. She forced me into piano, and now it's one of my greatest pleasures. She forced me into acting, and now it's something I want to do for the rest of my life. It pains me to say this, but just this once, my mom was right. <laughs> now back to me. So the musical I was forced into was called. <laughs> musical interpretation of the Ugly Duckling story. Iffy music, boring dialogue, forty lyrics. Very middle school. So maybe it was the fact that like four guys tried out. Or maybe it was the fact that I had super long hair and I looked really weird. But I got cast as the lead. Ugly. <laughs> I never forget the first solo I ever sang in my life. It was by no figment of the imagination a masterpiece, and in no way did I sing it particularly well. But ever since that day, music has been a vital part of my life. If they knew just how dearly I would love to honk, but it's true. I'm a bird who seems to lack the knack. I'm just different. I'm just different from the rest And who can blame them wanting me To find another nest But different isn't naughty Different isn't bad So why should being different make me sad? I'm just different They're like peas from the same pot No wonder they make fun of me Life's harder when you're on. But different isn't scary. Different is no threat. And though I'm still their brother, they forget I didn't choose to look this way. I didn't want to be unique. I don't like these grubby feathers, and I hate this stubby beak. There's a runt in every litter, one black sheep in there. I'm just different, but I have a sense of pride. My looks may well be funny, but I hurt the same inside. But different isn't scary, different isn't wrong. So why is it so hard to get along? I only want to get along. thing. So for years I tried my hardest to be different. I uh, dressed, I talked like a baby, I, I wore strange clothes. 
I sung everywhere people didn't want me to sing. It's only recently that I realized that everyone's a little weird, a little strange, and a whole lot of different. It's only when I realized that that I stopped focusing on being different and focused on being myself. Now, punk was special to me for many reasons. One, it introduced me to music. Two, it introduced me to acting. And three, it introduced me to love. <laughs> <laughs> Now here's the part of the show where everyone rolls their eyes. No one wants to hear an 18-year-old talk about love. <laughs> Why would they? I'm, I haven't lived very long, I don't know much. It's too gushy, too intimate, too intense. It makes people feel uncomfortable. I would have avoided the topic altogether, but half my songs are about it, so it's an issue I must address. The definition of love I'm going to use is a quote by one of the greatest philosophers of the 20th century. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> We're all a little weird, and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and follow mutual weirdness and call it love. <laughs> when I was in Hong, I met someone that shared my weirdness. <laughs> now something you should know about me, I grew up in a family of five brothers. The only girls I interacted with were my mom and my dog. <laughs> so when it came to girls, I knew nothing. They were a mysterious and dangerous species. And I needed a little help in trying to figure them out. So I went and got the closest thing to a dummy's guide to teenage girls I could find. Twilight. <laughs> I read it. It didn't help. It's probably the reason why girls always thought I was so weird when I stared at them intensely from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> My confidence with girls is also probably the reason why when I finally mustered up the courage to ask this first girl I met in Honk out, it was Hey, want to go out? Sure. Cool. And I high-fived her and walked away. <laughs> that girl, my first girlfriend, I dated her for about, on and off for about three years. I loved her, and she helped me grow more than any sports team or math class could ever teach me in middle school. But with growth comes change, and with change comes moving on. I remember when we finally broke up on the phone. <laughs> I, uh, I hung up and I cried for like an hour because I did love her, but I needed to move on. And the only way I knew how to move on is to write about it. So I began to write a song, a really mean one. <laughs> I had breakups on my mind, so I wrote one about a relationship that ended quite poorly. It wasn't about my relationship. I could never write a song that true as a freshman. But it was about a breakup. I was stupid and thought the song was clever, so I put it on YouTube. Not a good idea. <laughs> Somehow, I didn't see how writing a song about a breakup would hurt the girl that I had just broken up with. So here's a breakup song. The meanest song I've accidentally written. You, you took my hand, saying we'd be together forever. But I know that's not the case. Cause I know that when I leave this place that I won't be walking out with you I've, I tried to talk, but you've never been in the mood to listen That's in the past, cause I know this might be the last time that you will hear from me again You, you get so mad over things I don't Is the end. Can we break up now and maybe just be friends? Don't tell me that I never tried, cause it's not me and no it's you, and I'm not trying to think so. What, what should I say to make you feel so much better? I know I can't, but what if I tried? I guess I just never was the guy that you were. That's what I thought. Now please leave, don't give me another call. I'm just not the type for you. 
Well, I've got to tell you now this is the end. Can we break up now and maybe just be friends? Don't tell me that I never tried, cause it's not me and no, it's you. And all that I hear now is... Blah, 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 to answer any questions that you have. But not tonight, cause tonight at 7.30 I've got a date with your best friend. <laughs> well I've gotta tell you now this is the end. Can we break up now? Everyone needs someone 
But if everyone loves someone, please let someone love me. in my life, and I'm thankful for each of those girls for what they taught me. And I've had an unbelievable family that has supported me incredibly. Love doesn't always mean happiness. Last year, someone very close to me was suffering from a very harmful disease. It was very harmful for me to watch someone that I loved unconditionally so hurt. I couldn't understand why I couldn't help. I was depressed, I was just not okay. But I couldn't let anyone know. How can I tell people about that? So I just kept it in. I locked these thoughts in my head and I threw away the key. And I just watched as this person got worse and worse, which only made me worse and worse. Eventually there was nothing I could do but write. So I began to write a song, but it just sounded empty. I was frustrated. I, I couldn't write this song. And then someone sat down next to me. I didn't even know him that well, but he asked me what was wrong, and I told him everything, more than I told my closest friends. And he helped me finish the song. The song went from being about my unhappiness to being about my strength. I realized that this wasn't my burden to bear. Just through having one person there for me, I realized that I have strength and I have people there for me. I began to let my friends in. I began to tell them what was happening. And through them, I found more and more strength. Because I have to live my own life. I can't live anyone else's, and I can't worry about anyone else. Because I am strong. And when I'm not strong, I have friends and family that will never stop holding me up. But I'm still smiling Going insane Because I'm still holding on Look through my soul You see I'm crying Look through my eyes You see I'm already gone
walked out the door out of warning Leaving behind all the things that you lost Now I am screaming in the silence Now I am lost but I won't let But like all relationships, it has to come to an end. Breakups are never easy. They force people to leave the comfortable known for the unknown. I remember riding uptown on the bus with some of my friends. Sorry. I remember riding uptown on the bus with some of my friends and ending up in random places like the top of the Bank of America Stadium. Or Bank of America, not the stadium. Um, in a cheerleading convention or an art exhibit. I remember having band camp with some of my closest friends and shaving all of their heads. <laughs> I remember <laughs> playing the basketball game in which if you score a basket, you have to ask a girl out. <laughs> I remember... <laughs> I remember playing kick the can until two o'clock in the morning. I remember all the birthdays, the dances, the pool parties, and all the people that made me love her. I know how corny this show may sound, and I know how corny this may sound, but I'm so grateful for Charlotte and all the things she's given me. She's always been safe. She's given me fantastic family and friends. She's given me countless fond memories, and some harsh memories necessary to helping me grow. But with growth comes change, and with change comes moving on. Now I have to leave Charlotte. Now I have to leave her loving embrace, and leave my family and my friends, and start the next relationship of my life. I wrote this song to say goodbye to Charlotte. But it very quickly became a song to say goodbye to all the people that made me love her. Which is you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, girl, I'm leaving. I can't stay here very long. But I'm not running away. And if you knew how much I'll miss you when I'm gone. Charlotte, I'm moving on And I will take with me the memories that we made And I will take with me your light And I will take and take what you will only give
back and think of what my life would be like if I never knew your face. Then I'd be missing cause you've only made me better and I'll never forget our days. And I don't know anything but what you have taught me and I can't see anything but what you have shown me and I But now I need to be a man And I don't know anything but what you have taught me And I can't see anything but what you have shown me And I won't fly until I leave But Charlotte, trust me, this is not goodbye If you take care of all my friends when we have left home Help my family carry on. <laughs> then I'll come back because you know I always loved you. But my home is my heart belongs. Cause it's Charlotte, I'm leaving. taught me piano, so if anyone wants to learn piano, I started it in ninth grade, and now I can do that, so. <laughs> and he also is the one that talked to Piedmont uh, Music Center for getting the piano, so thank you to them as well for getting me this amazing sounding piano. Um, and just thank you all for coming out, and thank you all for, for being there. John and Matt helped me put up signs. Everyone did a little something. That's it. Sorry it took a little longer than expected, but y'all are dismissed. <laughs>